episode of In the Shop with Custom Lowe's. It is episode seven today. Um, we got a couple cool things going on, and we're working on the underseat enclosure, pulling Supreme Patty's truck back in, working on that. I got to get episode six edited and uploaded for you guys. Once I do that, I'll be in the shop and working today. Got the baffle and the inside of the enclosure sanded up. I did say I was going to do a second coat of uh, primer, but I'm not going to. After sanding the second time to sand down the filler, I realized it doesn't need it. It's very smooth, definitely smooth enough for bed liner. So I'm going to start mixing up some bed liner. I got tenable bed liner. I'm going to tint it white and get the baffle on the inside of this enclosure sprayed up. All right, so I'm about to mix up this tenable bed liner. This is stuff I get from my uh, local paint shop, uh, Finish Masters. It's their paintable, or not paintable, tenable bed liner. I like to use the tenable stuff so that the color is through and through, and I'm not just bed lining it and then spraying, like spray painting it white. Um, you know, the whole benefit of bed liner is it's very scratch resistant. Now, even if it does get a scratch, the benefit is also that it is color through and through. So if you're doing tenable, and say you spray it red, it'll be red all the way through. You know, you got a 16th inch thick layer of red bed liner across the whole enclosure. So I always go with the tenable stuff. Um, I've found that honestly, there's not much difference when it comes to the spray stuff. Now, I do not like the stuff that comes in the rattle can. I don't think that stuff is uh, very good for the most part. So I tend, I tend to uh, stick to stuff that is coming from like a paint shop, order on Amazon, eBay. I've also used, um, I'm trying to think of the company. It is a custom custom shop bed liner. You can Google that and find it or hit up your uh, local paint shop. I'm sure they have some bed liner there. But either way, I'm gonna get this mixed up real quick. Uh, follow, I'm not gonna go over the instructions on how to mix it with the paint. Just follow the instructions. They always come with it or the paint shop will have a printable version of the instructions for this stuff. So get this mixed up, get these pieces sprayed, and then I can take a lunch break, and hopefully by that time it is dry, move it out of the way, and pull the Supreme Patty truck in here. Stack fab stuff up here on the bench. I'm gonna start taking apart this baffle. As you can see, I got some MDF pieces in there. Those were my uh, master template pieces. So those have to come out. Everything right now is just um, glued, or sorry, not glued, it is not glued at all. It is just screwed. As you see some screws in all the tops. It is screwed and uh, brad nailed. So I'm gonna start taking it apart. Well, actually I'll probably take the main structure apart sand the individual pillars while they're together, take it apart, and then I have to assemble everything. As you can see on this one here, this one still has not been uh, taken apart yet, although it has been sanded. But like these pieces here, they have been sanded and taken apart. A lot of sanding, a lot of pieces, but this project is coming out awesome. All right, I got all this uh, baffle taken apart. I fear there's going to be a lot of hand sanding. Um, the palm sander, some areas you're, you're not gonna be able to get in, especially when it's moving. I mean, it just, you start taking out details. Um, this sander is pretty aggressive, so we'll see how it goes. I think I could get a good majority of it uh, done with the two sanders, but I know I'm definitely gonna have to hand block some of this stuff, but ton of sanding to go all these pieces this thing is insane and there's more pieces to come
these pieces sanded up with a little Milwaukee sander. That's basically like the rough sand. I'm gonna finish it up with uh, doing what I can with the palm sander. And then certainly I'm gonna have to do some hand sanding. So there's some more sanding to go. But it's coming out awesome. You may have seen me switching up my mask like midway through sanding. I was wearing the cheap little, uh, I'm trying to grab it right now, a little thin, you see them like fishing usually. Um, cheap little thin masks. Cheap little thin masks that slide over your face. Um, I switched because really those masks are, they're not, they're not gonna block much. Uh, they're good for small hand sanding. Um, maybe like getting, keeping general dust away out of your face. But like, you, like you've seen, there was so much dust with sanding those stack fab parts that I had to switch to the better, uh, the better mask rather. Um, definitely recommend always using a good mask when you're doing work like this. Anytime you're making dust, painting, uh, sanding. I see a lot of builders, a lot of hobbyists. You guys are not wearing masks when you're sanding. Fiberglass, paint, wood even. Um, it might not bother you now, but in 20 years, it might bother you. So I'm, gonna, I'm always going to wear my mask, try to wear my best mask because really, I do this for a living, so I come across a lot of dust. I already have pretty bad allergies as is, so I recommend wearing a good mask. See, a lot of people don't do it, so I figured I would put a little put a little warning in there for you guys to wear the good mask. All right, guys, we're finished for the night. It's been another long day. Got plenty done today. Got these pieces sanded up. Still some more hand sanding to go. Got this uh, under seat enclosure bed lined up. White bed liners looking awesome on this thing. Real clean. We'll make them LEDs pop in here. Again, this is for uh, four DD Audio 8. Let me know what you guys think of the enclosure. Let me know what you guys think of the progress on the Supreme Patty Center console. Lots of work has gone into this. I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out. Always wanted to do like a full stack fab enclosure enclosure and uh, I figured this was a good starting point. Alright guys so that is it for another episode of In the Shop with Custom Lowe's. Thank you for watching. This was episode 7. Um, for all you guys who have been watching me since the start, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you guys who have been viewing, commenting. Man, I'm having a ton of power, ton of battery power issues today. All this videoing takes a lot of battery power. So again, Thank you guys for all of you who've been watching so far. All of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you. If you're not, please do so now. It definitely helps. Make sure you guys are sharing this video, sharing my whole series. Um, if you guys need audio equipment at all, anything you need, subwoofers, speakers, speaker wire, amplifiers, batteries, lithium, um, anything you guys need, I got it on my website, www.customlows.com. I got all the links in the description below for that. Go check that out. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be working on more of the undersea enclosure now that the bed liner is done. We can start getting the thing assembled, putting the baffle on the enclosure itself. Uh, then that starts a whole bunch of fun work on the outside of that thing, shaping it up. Uh, more work on the center console build tomorrow. And uh, we'll see if we got some designs to do. So and thank you guys again for watching another episode. I'll be back again tomorrow.